welcome back. I hope you're having a really nice Sunday. I'm popping on today to do this quick tutorial um, of these gift card holders. I made a lot of these last year um, for a craft fair that I was doing and they sold really well. So they just look like this wee bag, the wee posh. And that's the back. And on the inside, I've just popped in my works card to show you. This piece slides up and down. So when you put the gift card inside, instead of just opening it and having to dig it out, it actually slides it up. Now, I cannot remember where I got the inspiration for this. Um, I don't know whether it was a YouTube channel or Pinterest or something like that because it was a long time ago and it was before I was doing YouTube so I can't give credit where credit's due. I have sort of adjusted the size a wee bit anyway to the size that I wanted it but anyway here goes. So what you're going to need for this wee gift holder is a piece of card that is seven and a quarter long and five and a half wide now that's an in inches so seven and a quarter inches and five and a half inches i've just chose a piece of this tim holtz card but of course you can um do it to your theme male female young or old whatever you like i've made disney ones and princess ones and all sorts so you need that piece of card then you need a piece of card that is um three and three quarter inches by three and a quarter inches so three and three quarters by three and a quarter inches then you need a piece of card that is two inches by two and three quarter inches so two by two and three quarter and then six inches by two inches six by two so that is all we need for this wee project it's really quick so the first thing we're going to do is take our largest piece of card and whatever side you want to be the front like the front pattern of your um, gift holder, you place that down on your scoreboard. Now, if you don't have a scoreboard, you can do this with a ruler and um, a pencil or a ruler and a scoring tool. So you don't have to have a scoreboard, it just makes it a bit easier. So the first thing, the first thing we're going to do is um, put our card with our five and a half inches this way and our seven and a quarter inches going down the way and we're going to make our first score line at half an inch going down long ways all the way at the bottom and then the next one is going to be at five inches oops I'll just score that down at five like so and then we're going to turn it so that the long side is along the top now and we're going to score it at two inches and at five inches so what we've got if you can just about see I don't know if you can see it better on the other side at the score lines like so now one of these sides is going to be two and a quarter inches and the other side is going to be two. So we want to find out which side is a two and a quarter inch. So we're just going to measure up to our score lines and see which side it is. So that's my two and a quarter inch and that's my two inch. So the two and a quarter inch, you want to put that to the top. And then... We're going to, I don't know if you can see the score lines here. Our score line that we made all the way down the edge, there you go, you can see it. We're going to keep our two and a quarter up to the top and then we're going to cut away this piece up to our top score line. I'll show you what I mean. It's quite easy when you see it and done. I'm just double checking it. That's my two and a quarter and it is. So I'm going to go in and cut. I'm going to do it from this side because I can see it easier. And you keep it as straight as I can right up to the score line and then just cut it off so you see we've got this and then we do the exact same on the other side just taking off this wee flat so there we go so now we've got like this sort of T shape with our two and a quarter up at the top 
and they're two inch down at the bottom. Now all we're going to do now is fold in the wee flaps at the side on our score lines, like so. Fold the next score line, and then again, so this sort of makes a wee, this is going to make our pocket. And then this score line at the top, yeah, you can just see it there, we're just going to fold that down on itself, making sure it's straight. So what we've done is made like a wee pocket. So we're going to just pop some glue now on the outside of our wee flats that we've made. Sorry if you can hear some kiddies outside playing. I don't know why they're outside, it's absolutely freezing today, but you know kids say they never feel the cold. Um, so I'm just putting on some wet glue here. I don't have to put on too much because I didn't really want it squidging at the edges. And then I'm just going to close that down, making sure it's relatively straight. And just put some pressure on just to stick this down. I'm just going to use my wee bone folder here just to give it a good press, reinforce all the edges like so. So now we've got our wee pocket. And we've got our flap that comes down, so you can see it's looking like a wee bag already. So I'm going to put that to the side for a second just to let that dry. And then we're going to take our piece of card that is three and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then we're going to score it on the piece that is um, three and a quarter. <laughs> so the three and a quarter piece we're putting to the top of our scoreboard. So we're scoring long ways down and we're going to score this at half an inch here and then two and three quarter inches so two three quarters and just score that there so the top one we're going to fold back again i'll just get that away reinforced and the bottom one, so if you can see that, we've got one going under, and we're going to fold the front one over. Like so. So we've got this one on the front, and this one on the back, so it looks like a kind of Z. So then, I'm going to bring this piece back in. Now, <coughs> excuse me, to try and explain this, where our fold is, our score line where the flap folds over we want to glue our piece this piece our front piece so we've got this piece this is like I'll show you to try and explain it this is a piece that's going to hold the card and this is a piece that's going to stick on here like so so what I'm going to do is just pop some glue just some wet glue again along the tab and then I'm going to slide this bottom one so you want your flap facing up the way so that it will hold the card and I'm just going to slide that in a bit tricky to try and show you on the camera and then while I was explaining the fold the score line you want to glue your flap just above your score line so I'll show you what I mean with that so I'm just lining it up the back of the flap with the score line and just kind of centre it so that when you open it up and your card comes out it's centred. So I'll quickly show you what I've done. So if you can see there is a score line where it closes and I have just glued this flap just above the score line. So just press it down any questions about this you can just um, ask me them in the comments box and I'll be happy to answer anything if I'm not explaining it properly. So that is the inside of it made so now when you pop in your card and you close it, close it down, it, this one is still too wet to do it but you can see what I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Open it up, <laughs> just stick it down again. But you can see with this one, so we've stuck it just above the flap and um, the score line, put that in and it pulls it up. So now we're going to go on to the handle. We'll just 
close that and give it a good press so that it sticks. Pop that aside just now. Then we're going to take a small piece of card, so the one that measures two inches by two and three quarter inches, and we're going to score it. We're going to put our two and three quarter inches to the top of our board, so we're scoring down the way, and we are scoring this. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to score this at a quarter of an inch. And three quarters of an inch. Wait a minute, I'm doing that wrong. It's this one. Oh no, it is. It's right. Okay, quarter of an inch and three quarters of an inch. Okay. And then we're going to turn it this way where our score lines are and put that up to the top of our scoreboard. And then we're going to score down the way at a quarter of an inch on both sides so I'm just turning that upside down so that I can score it a quarter of an inch on both sides so you can see that's what we've got a quarter of an inch a quarter of an inch a quarter of an inch and then three quarters of an inch so that's what we've got <coughs> excuse me okay so now this piece what I want to do is cut this line so we're going to cut from here all the way up to this very first score line along here and then back down here so we're cutting all this bit away so what I'll do is this bit here is the bit we're cutting away so I'll just try and get this as straight as I can up to my first score line. Then along and then down. Like I say, once you've done this once, it's really easy. I'll just trim that off because it's I've left it a wee bit scant. I'm not the best at cutting, I must admit. So now we've got this. And you can see this is going to make our handle. So then we take our next piece, which is our 6 inch by our 2 inch. I'll just turn this to make sure that I'm doing it properly. So we want to score it, put it long ways along the top of our board. And then we're going to score it again a quarter of an inch. And then at three quarters of an inch. Um, and then at three and three quarters. I'm just thinking if that's correct. Yes, yeah, three and three quarters. Sorry about that. So three and three quarters. Here. Okay. I had to double check myself there, but yes, it is. So three and three quarters. So we've got, so you can see that one at quarter of an inch, one at three quarters of an inch, and one at three and three quarters of an inch. So then we turn it long ways on our scoreboard, and now we're going to score down this side. And again, all we want to do is score it at a quarter of an inch all the way down, and a quarter of an inch at the other side as well. So it's basically just the same as what we were doing on the first piece. So, you can see that. We've now got our quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch at both sides. And again, I will show you the bit that we're going to cut out. I'll just take my pen. So we're going to cut out all this. All this piece in the centre is going to be cut out. So I'll go ahead and do that and just show you. All the way to the top. So I'm really excited. I actually need to Google 
and find out when Harry Potter is coming to Crate and Craft. I cannot believe it. It's eventually here. I think. I thought it was the 9th, but I don't know if I've missed it, but um, I don't know. I'll need to find out. But yeah, Harry Potter's coming to Crate and Craft. Anyway, so that's what we're left with. Now, this bit's pretty easy. So the small bit that we've done is our front handle. And this back piece is our back handle that folds all the way around. So I'll show you. So what we want to do, as you see, we've got our two small score lines still here. So we want to glue on the back all the way up to our first score line. So I'll show you that. So just popping on some wet glue all the way up to our first score line. And then the first the score line that we've glued up to, we want to we want to um line that up with the top of the bag. Now if you've done it correctly, hopefully I have, the bottom of the strap should just measure up with the bottom of the flap on the bag, which it does like this. Let me try and open this. Oh, wait a minute, we're getting stuck here. What have I done? Is that not open? And that's it. <laughs> it was just a wee bit stuck with the glue. So, we just press that down. We've got our front handle. And then we're going to do the same on the back. We're going to glue up to our wee score lines here. So, I'll show you that. Just glue it all the way down, like so. So we're not gluing this top bit past these score lines because that's the top of our handle. But the reason I'm doing that is because it makes it easier if you put the glue on this side of the other handle. I don't know why, it just does. It's easier to line up. So here we go. So we're going to line up our two handles at the top and just here squeeze them down and then press these pieces trying to keep them straight they should line up quite well if I've, my cutting isn't the best so it's not perfect but so I'll stuck this down on the back and I'm just going to give it another repress to make sure it's all stuck I'm getting glue absolutely everywhere and then turn it to the front open it up now our handles should fold yeah and then our straps that we have here are glue on we just turn them over and line them up and take them straight to the top and do the same on this side like so. Now they won't go all the way at the top, there'll be a tiny wee gap at the top. Um, you can readjust your measurements if you want them to go all the way at the top, but I just thought it looked nicer like that. So just give it a wee squeeze down. Make sure everything is glued properly. Close that down. And there is the basis of our wee gift tag. Gift card holder. So you can decorate it any way you like. I like to put on some fake stitching um, to match the colour of my paper. And I just do that all the way around. Obviously you don't have to do this. You can do any decoration that you like. That's a good thing about these wee things. You can make them really personal to the person that you're giving them to. So I really like them. And then I just open it up. Keep putting the stitching all the way to the top. So, flip it over to the back and follow the stitching all the way around. And then, so I think that looks really cute like that with the wee stitching around it. And then you can put anything you want on the front for like a wee 
um, button. I've put um, on this one. This has got a brad on it, but I've put like wee pearls or buttons or anything like that that you like. Another thing that you can do, and I like to do this because I think it just makes it look cuter, is round. If you've got one of these corner rounders, round the edge of the top flap. And it just gives it an extra wee detail. So there you go. That is how I make my wee gift card holders for Christmas. And for around the year, I think they're just it's just nicer than putting them just in a wee um, shop bought one. Just so you can personalise it. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. If you like this video, please give me a wee thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the wee subscribe button. Hit the bell, give me a wee ding, you'll get all my notifications. And I will see you guys later on today when I'm going to be doing my plan with me. So have a fantastic afternoon and I will see you all soon. Thank you. Bye bye.